What's the hurry? Anything the knights can do for you? I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier, but I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Favonius. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the Knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. <sighs> How strange. I can't seem to find any. Oh, it's you! What are you doing here? Is something the matter? Oh, I see. No need to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolfhook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of them here. And I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara? Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because. Oh, all right. I'll just leave it to you then. Please just... Just don't tell them that I'm here, all right? The voice seemed to be coming from over there. Let's go take a closer look. Oh, Paimon remembers him. Isn't that Albert? What is he doing here? Barbara-sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who, me? Uh, well, I'm looking for Barbara-sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolfhook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolfhooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara Fan Club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barbara Fan Club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara Sama's life's easier. Huh? But, uh, judging from your expression, you've never heard of the Barbara Fan Club. I, uh, uh, anyways, the Barbara Fan Club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara Sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. You might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the search. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. I heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbara Sama had come to Wolvendom to pick wolf hook berries. In fact, 
I could have sworn I heard Barbara Sama's voice when I came here. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbara Sama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Uh, you might be right. I haven't heard any sign of her since. Unless she's intentionally trying to avoid me. But she'd never have any reason to do that. Right. Hmm. Well, it seems that Barbara Sama may have already left the area. <sighs> All right, then. Barbara Sama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbara Sama did indeed go back to the city. polite towards him. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now... People always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes... I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. No, I couldn't find any. Well, the kind I'm looking for are red. I remember seeing them here before, but I've already searched the area and there aren't any. I wonder if someone had already picked them. No, people seldom come out here. Huh? Yes, those are the ones! And you found so many, these will be more than enough! But where did you... Oh my... Well, I've been far too impolite. Albert came all this way just to help me and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. Well, I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter. Don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway, the berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going.
glad we finally made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, well, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, you must have other matters to attend to. No problem, then. I guess I'll go talk to her myself. What's the hurry? Ha. So, is he gone? Oh, thank you. Well, in Mondstadt, I'm happy to see such turn. What's the hurry? You're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. You could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, Honoré Knight.
What's the hurry? Freeze! Ha! you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh, I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good. But there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Yeah, it does sound amazing. I'm not sure how Margaret came up with such a name. But I have heard that the drink is quite popular now. There's even a line of people waiting to purchase it every day. If you'd like to get one, we should head over to the cat's tail as quickly as we can. However, even though I've already requested a half day of leave from Sister Victoria, she still insists that I let her know where I'm going. With so many people trying to get in on the newest cat's tail offering, I'm worried we'll have to wait for ages if we get there too late. Oh, I've got it! Why don't you help me check in with Sister Victoria while I get in line at the cat's tail? That would save us some time! What do you think? It's settled then. Let's meet up at the entrance to the cat's tail. It... uh... It'll be fine. I'll just... tell them that today is my day off. I'm sure they'll understand. Let's get going then. See you at the cat's tail. Yes, my child? Oh, yes. Sister Barbara just submitted her request for half a day's leave. She said she had plans with a friend. I must say, though, it is quite unusual for Barbara to request time off just to see a friend. But that's beside the point. What is it you'd like to ask me? Oh? You mean to tell me that Barbara intends to accompany you to buy this... special drink? Then you must be the friend that she mentioned, I presume. Hmm, seeing as you're the honorary knight, I guess that's fine. Well then, please take good care of Sister Barbara. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, she's too... kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. Look at that. 
a crowd of people. And there's Barbara! Oh, th thank you for all your support. <laughs> uh, please, pl uh, one at a time. Barbasama, I never expected I would have a chance to meet you here today. Are you here attending to matters for the church? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, Barbara-sama, may I get your autograph? I, uh, my daughter Ellen is a big fan of yours. Uh, oh, is that so? <laughs> All right, uh, just one moment. Oh gosh, Barbara-sama, I love your style. Please tell me how I can be more like you. Oh, oh really? Well, I I'm still learning and growing myself. I guess all I can say is, uh, do your best every day. Oh, Barbara-sama! Uh, Barbara-sama! Barbara-sama! Oh, my! Please, Barbara-sama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Oh, perfect. I've got so much to learn from Barbara-sama. She'd never have the time if she was working. Please, Barbara-sama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Oh, Barbara-sama, you're so hardworking. If I put in as much effort as you, who knows where my apprenticeship would take me? You... It, you must be the honorary knight. What are you and Barbara-sama doing here? Um, oh... <laughs> of course. Barbara-sama is working after all. Forgive me. I, I'll... I'll leave you in peace. Come take a look. Barbara Samba, can I get an autograph? Oh, Ellen would be so happy. She's your biggest fan. Ah! Wait! I, uh, no. Oh, is, is that right? <laughs> well, then, uh, I'll leave her to it. <laughs> Ellen looks busy with her training. <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Barbara-sama, there's still so much I want to learn from you. It would make me, uh, my daughter so happy, Barbara-sama. Barbara-sama, don't forget my autograph. Please, settle down. I... Oh, I think Monroe might want one, too. And Mr. Wagner. Wait, he wouldn't want one, would he? Uh, let me ask him, though. Oh, a, a friend of mine was asking about autographs, Barbara-sama. Uh, make that, too. Sorry, please. Uh, uh, hold on a moment. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting so long. You look like you're about to fall asleep. I feel terrible. It was me who invited you for a drink, and here I am wasting your time. Here, it's the fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. At least Miss Margaret didn't make our drinks in advance. The flavor would have changed completely by now. <sighs> How can I put this? Those relaxing moments of freedom in Wolvendom? The rush just now kinda ruined that for me. But as long as I can bring everybody a smile... Although, perhaps you can stay with me a while longer? Let's take a stroll outside the city and finish our drinks. We have to seize every bit of free time we get, even if it only lasts a moment. It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of Honorary Knight, 
I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, I hope I'm not offending you. What I mean is, for someone as young as you to achieve the title of Honorary Knight, it's amazing. Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry, always thinking about myself. <sighs> We've walked a long way, why don't we take a break up ahead? <sighs> it looks so peaceful here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. Uh, that thing? Uh, it's a group of my Mondstadt... supporters. But I'm usually in the cathedral. The knights and sisters stationed outside the church won't let them in. So they support me in other ways. Cleaning the cathedral, helping their fellow citizens with difficult matters, stuff like that. It's very considerate, though sometimes they get carried away. Uh, I'm not really sure, but of the ones I know, there's Mr. Albert and Mr. Huffman. Oh, do you know Mr. Huffman? He's a very strict knight, not to mention disciplined. He's never asked for my autograph or tried to make conversation. Every time he comes to the cathedral on official business, his face is a picture of seriousness. I'd never have known if I hadn't overheard Mr. Albert talking about it. When I found out, I had someone deliver my autograph to him. I hope he was happy with it. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation, and it's all me complaining. Oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so, we've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today, but it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. Sister Victoria told me you already ho- I just returned a short while ago! Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. Alright, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Juyun chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Juyun chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. Alright, I'll head to the Whispering Woods to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chili's around Stone Gate. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, 
She always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. While I head over to the Whispering Woods, could you please check in with Sister Victoria and let her know where I will be? Yes, my child? Oh? Sister Barbara wishes to go to the Whispering Woods to pick herbs. I see. In fact, Sister Barbara just requested a half day's leave to go meet a friend. Now she suddenly intends to go herb picking? I'm sure Sister Barbara has her reasons. Will you be accompanying her? Ah, <sighs> I trust she will be in good hands then. Please take good care of Sister Barbara, honorary knight. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara, although the citizens here may only be acting out of good and if they appear while she is working here at the ch- But if she's approached by fans to- And not to mention, sh So with that in mind, we thought- My hope is that Sister Barbara- <laughs> These are fresh, all right. Paimon can feel the spiciness just by holding them. Let's go to the Whispering Woods and find Barbara. be back soon. <sighs> it's been ages. Where in Tevat did she go? Paimon's worried too. Barbara should have been back by now. She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head over there. short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. They'd seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever since. 
I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far, but it seemed like they knew somebody was following them, so I didn't go any further. Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders, after all. Anyway, I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing them. I thought of getting the knights involved, but I was worried it would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders did something terrible while I was gone? I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So, honorary knight, maybe you could, uh... Yay! I'll leave it to you, honorary knight. I'll handle the aftercare. Who dares enter our territory? <laughs> Another test subject. Release your hostage immediately! <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porter, seize the girl. Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. The wrong test oh no! They're going after Barbara! We've gotta... Don't worry about me. I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant! She's got a vision! Boss, what should we do? What are you scared of? She's just a girl, so what if she's got a vision? There are more of us. Quit stalling! How fortunate. What's the hurry? Thank you. I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant from Liua. I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, please allow me to repay your kindness. The treasure hoarders already made off with most of my things, but let me see here. Um, so there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and here's some aura. No, 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 we don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Favonius, and this is the Knights of Favonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Liyue, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um... Okay... I just don't know what to choose. Liyue chili brew might be delicious, but with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You'll be better at this. You choose. What do you think is the most fitting reward? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to rewards. What'll it be? Leo's famous chili brew, sweet flowers, or Mora? Really? Sweet flowers and a chili brew? I guess it's all chili brew at the end of the day, but... The Mondstadt version sure sounds... interesting. Sweet flowers it is. These are an excellent batch. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. These sweet flowers look fantastic. And now we've finally got all the ingredients we need for the chili brew. Let's get back to Mondstadt. When we're inside the city, why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? When the chili brew is ready, I'll bring it straight over. For the delay, the chili brew is ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here, this one is for you. 
Let me know what you think. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh, actually, it's a little embarrassing. At first, I drank chili brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint. One adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing chewy and chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the julienne chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you faced, and those yet to come, are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh. <sighs> Have I said too much? Sorry, I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. Who dares enter our territory? <laughs> Another test subject. Release your hostage immediately! <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porter, seize the girl. Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. Oh no! You're going after Boca! We've got it! Don't worry about me. I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant! She's got a vision! Okay. Boss, what should we do? What are you scared of? She's just a girl, so what if she's got a vision? There are more of us. Quit stalling and... Uh, it's the wrong test subject. Thank you. I, I can't express my gratitude. This? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Pace yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. Ugh. 
Leoy chili brew? I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> Ooh, uh, spicy. Throat's on fire. Mm, this isn't like the chili brew I make at all. What do you think? Uh, I guess we don't have to finish them. It's getting late. And I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue. Less... stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, honorary night. Even though it was only half a day, I had a great time. Next time, you can try my special chili brew. Sister Victoria told me you already helped I just returned a short while ago. Coming right up! But I... Oh, you really think so? Okay then. With the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. Oh, and by the way... Even though I've already requested a half-day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say... Hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. Oh, Sister Barbara, is something the matter? I'd like to go to the Whispering Woods to pick some herbs. It shouldn't take long. Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? Hmm. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. But the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Perhaps you should request a guard from the Knights of Avonius? With the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. All right, we're good to go. Let's head out. growing here are some of the highest quality. I often pick them here, but why are there so many monsters around? <sighs> Let's take care of them first. Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. Dodge this! 
Come a little closer. Boba, get them! <laughs> Come a little closer. <sighs> I guess that takes care of them. You truly are the honorary knight. You barely broke a sweat. Oh, stop right there! Looks like you hurt yourself on your arm there! No, no, no! Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me, but... Aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you all right? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Forest boar. I'm hunting forest boar. <laughs> when you think about it, isn't life just one big forest boar hunt? L look here! Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you, you adventurers are all alike, suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me. I beg of you. Mm. Yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? Oh, uh... Okay, but I should heal him first. Wait a minute. You know, I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Where was I? Uh, Sister Deaconess, uh, I should be going. I won't be needing your healing today. Thank you. But we're, we're done here, no? Is there a problem? I haven't done anything. What's your problem? You're not making any sense. I just asked to be healed. Is there some law against that? You think I'm afraid of you? If you want to catch me, you better be up to the task. <laughs> Surrender and I'll be gentle. Cool it. Fine, you caught me. Like I said, I'm already leaving. The hunting. Thank you. I had a look at his wounds. I think he really did need healing. Even if he was a treasure hoarder. Still, I'm sure you made the right decision. If he did have some ulterior motive, we might have fallen into a trap. Whatever the case, if he does have others lurking about, we're probably still in danger. We should go back to Mondstadt. <sighs> It looks like Chili Brew isn't in the cards this time. I'll have to get around to making one for you next time. I'm... heading back to Mondstadt. You should come as well. Don't spend too long out here. Here we are! The sweet flower is growing here as some of the highest quality! I often get them here, but... Why are there so many monsters around? Let's take care of them first. 
Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. Dodge this! I guess that takes care of them. More than a few monsters, but you made it look easy. Oh, stop right there! No, no, no! Even... Okay. I'm going to look for some small lamp grass in the area. Please stay with him and make sure no monsters get to him. You... <clears throat> Fine, heartless adventurer. I'll stay hidden, Sister Deaconess, but please be back soon. I beg of you. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. <sighs> Don't look so serious. I know what you're thinking. I've heard a lot about the criminal methods of the treasure hoarders around Mondstadt. Usually, if I come across a person like this, I'd simply ask them to seek help from somebody at the church. But this fellow is in serious condition. He needs urgent healing. After all, I've got an honorary knight at my side to protect me, right? Sister Deaconess... You're back! This should do the trick. Hold on a moment. The you adventurers really are jumpy these days. Alright, that should do it. But just to be safe, you should probably pay a visit to the church. <laughs> no need. I should be able to recover by myself. Uh, Sister Deaconess? Why weren't you suspicious of me? Like the adventurer here. Surely you've heard about the treasure hoarders and their methods. <laughs> Feigning injury by the roadside, begging for healing to get close to travelers, then striking at the opportune moment. You know, stuff like that. And that's just one of their methods. Weren't you worried that I might have been looking to harm you? Um, it crossed my mind. And yet, why did you still help me? Oh, the fact was you needed healing, right? And you hadn't done anything wrong. You just asked me for help. Whatever your true identity, in my eyes, you were merely a person in need of healing. Sister Deaconess, the truth is, I am a treasure hoarder. My plan was to feign injury in order to take advantage of the situation. But I ran into a group of monsters. I barely made it out. Then I realized I actually had to seek help from someone. Anyone. But travelers all kept their distance. None of them believed me. Until you showed up. I can't thank you enough for healing me. I feel strong enough to carry on now. I won't trouble you anymore. Oh. Well, the best thing would be for you to come back to Mondstadt with us. The church can help with your treatment. You're not fully healed yet. Please, I've taken up enough of your time. Oh, these are for you. I'm afraid I have nothing of value to give, but I picked these sweet flowers from nearby. Take them, as thanks for healing me. I will remember your kindness. In the future, if you have any trouble with treasure hoarders, just mention my name, Uwe. I guarantee they won't dare touch the hem of your jacket. I must go. Farewell. <laughs> what a strange character. But I hope his wounds will be okay. At least we got a hold of some sweet flowers. We were running out of time for me to whip you up some chili brew. Oh, wow. This is a great batch. That's everything we need. It's getting late. Let's get back to Mondstadt. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Well, we're back. Ah, that 
was pretty tiring. I'm a deaconess. Healing the wounded is something I must do. Besides, I have a vision. Even if you did try anything, I'd have been able to handle it. Not to mention, I had the honorary knight with me. If there'd been any danger, you would definitely have protected me, right? If I was alone... Hmm... Well, for a vision bearer, I'm more adept at healing. If there were too many enemies, I guess I would have been defeated after a while. However, because I would have been alone, I wouldn't have risked an ambush by stopping to heal him myself. I would have just left some herbs with him instead. I'm good at remembering self-defense tactics like that. After all, as Sister Victoria always says, don't go around healing people in the wild. Then again, what's the point of having a vision if I can't stretch the rules once in a while? <laughs> oh, the chili brew! It shouldn't take long to make. Why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? I'll bring it straight over when it's ready. for the delay. The chili brew's ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Um, now that you mention it, I guess I'm the only one in the whole of Mondstadt that likes chili brew. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh, at first, I drank chili... When I first began singing practice, I had... to be coming from over there. Let's go take a close... Oh, Paimon remembers him. Is it... Barbara-sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who, me? Uh, uh well, I'm looking... Oh, you can't be serious. It's only the biggest club for Barbasama fans in all Mondstadt. <laughs> Even Huffman's a member now. Of course. Barbasama has a lot of fans in Mondstadt that wish to support her, you know? I... Uh, anyways, the Barba fan club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbasama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. Uh, yes, I'm well aware. That's exactly why, as leader of the Barbara Fan Club, I could never let Barbara Sama wander here alone. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. Um, maybe. But this is the only place they could be. She wouldn't go anywhere else if those were what she was looking for. Could she really have returned to Mondstadt? Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbasama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. No way! How could I ever mistake the sound of some monsters for Barbasama's sweet voice? Well, whatever. I don't have time to keep talking like this. I should keep searching for Barbasama. 
And you should go back to whatever it is you were doing. Barbara-sama! Where are you? He's bound to find Barbara here sooner or later if this keeps up. Unless... we could start yelling too! Hey, what are you so embarrassed? What is he doing here? Barbara! Oh, Barbara! It's us! Barbara! You're yelling even louder than me! <laughs> That's just because we like... Oh, I see. In that case, let's do our best together. Barbara! It's us! Are you there? Barbara-sama! Where are you? Barbara-sama isn't here after all. <coughs> no, it's not that. I just... <coughs> oh! <coughs> all right. My throat won't hold up much longer. <laughs> it's no wonder you've become the honorary knight. You certainly give it your all. <coughs> uh, oh, all right. It seems Barbara-sama isn't anywhere around here. Let's return to the city. <coughs> Once Barbara-sama returns to Mondstadt, though, I'll have to ask her to heal my throat. the wind. Ha. I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick... Hmm. Perhaps you? Not to mention... All right, you could start... Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. Huh. What's the hurry? Shh. 
keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person find us here. Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform- I'm happy to- I know that all- and I always do, but even when I meet the reason I can- Do you understand? It's been far- Oh yes, there are- I guess that's all we can do for now. Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. Wh huh? What do you mean? Y you... Uh, I'm sorry. I think we should go. Yes, it's time to go. voice down. My family? Well, my father left on an expedition together with Grandmaster Varka and has yet to return. And as for the other person I can call family, well, she doesn't have much time to look after me. And besides, I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. So there's no need for me to bother her. <laughs> That's right. The Grand Master of the Knights of Bavonius. I'm sure you've heard his name mentioned before. Seamus Pegg. The Cardinal of Daybreak and the Seneschal of the Church of Bavonius. That's my father. But it's been some time since I last saw him. And I'm still uncertain of when Grand Master Varka's expedition will finally be finished. I don't know. My father only briefly mentioned the matter to me before he set off. He also turned over all his responsibilities in the church to Cardinal Calvin. Cardinal Calvin has been taking care of various matters since the departure of my father and Grandmaster Varka. He's so busy that he seldom ever leaves his room. Even the other sisters in the church rarely ever see him. The only time I've seen him recently was when the Holy Larger Hermel was stolen. He went to the Knights of Favonius in such a hurry that he hadn't even fastened all the buttons on his garments. Speaking of which, you still remember that day, right? You recovered the Holy Larger Hermel together with that bard and Jean. Oh, I mean, the acting Grand Master. Oh, I was shocked to see the Holy Larger Hermel in such a condition. Thank the heavens that the bard was able to mend it. We'd never hear the end of it from Cardinal Calvin if something were to ever happen to the Holy Liar to Hermel. Huh? What do you two seem so nervous about? There's nothing wrong with the Holy Liar to Hermel. Is there? Huh? But didn't you return the liar together with acting Grandmaster Jean and that bard? And then... That bard used some sort of magic to fix the broken holy liar to Hamel. Hey, why do you look so nervous? Is there something wrong with the holy liar to Hamel? I see. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. That person who was looking for me should be long gone by now, and I still need to go pick those wolf hooks. Oh, really? Well, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. Remember, we're looking for red wolf hooks. Don't get them mixed up. Strange. I'm almost certain that I've seen lots of those red wolf hooks growing here before. Let's gather some 
and bring them back to her. What's the hurry? Huh. Oh, were you able to find some red wolf hook berries? sure that I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. I wonder if someone had already gathered them all. Well, never mind. Thankfully the berries you gathered should be just enough. Let's go! What's the hurry? made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, well, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides... There's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. What's the... Huh? Oh, you're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back any time soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So, yes, that's right. But she does opt to be on it. However, anyway, I'll... Oh. 
should just about do it for the cleaning. Could Barbara really do this all herself? Sister Victoria told me you already ha I just returned to sh You must be thirsty at- Oh! I've just- Miss Margaret said that the name she also meant where it is that the- If you'd rather not, which would you like to drink? Yeah, it does, but I have heard that the drink- What? Yes, my child? Oh, yes. So, I must say that, but that's beside the point. Oh? Then you must be- Hmm. Well, then, please take good care of Sister Bob. Well, as you may- Although the citizen- If they appear, but if she's a pro- And not- So with that in mind, my, my hope- Barbara Sama, teach. Uh, sure. Consider it to others. Huh? Aren't you that honorary knight? You and Barbara Sama must be. Official business? Oh, I, I thought. <laughs> Apologies. I just got so excited when I saw Barbara Sama. Yes, you're right. Being considerate to others is the right place to start. Barbara-sama and the honorary knight in the same place. This must be incredibly important official business. I'll take my leave. Oh, Barbara-sama, you're so hard work- You- You must be- Um, oh- uh, Barbara-sama, can I get an autograph? Wait, wait oh, is, is that right? <laughs> Come take a look. There will be huh? Where did everybody? <sighs> I should. I understand everybody's enthusiasm, but the longer I stay here, I just don't. <sighs> here, I heart. It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of Honorary Knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, oh I hope I'm not offending you. What I mean is... For someone as young as you to achieve the title of Honorary Knight? It's amazing! Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> uh, finding someone to so sorry! Always thinking about myself. Uh, We've walked a long way. Why don't we take a break up ahead? <sighs> it looks so pe- Embarrassing. Do you know what an idol is? I guess you've heard that I sometimes sing for the people in Mondstadt. I can use the power of my vision to heal physical wounds, but it's no use on someone of. <laughs> 